Hello everybody, this is Solomon um, this is my first clip so please be patient because uh, I'm not used to, to talk to my Mac <laughs> so possibly I won't be that fluent um, anyway, I, I started, I, I decided to start uh, um, in my first video um, talking indeed about uh, something that is uh, not that light uh, well um, this, the, the main subject is uh, Dream Theater, that is one of my favorite, uh, favorite bands ever, but uh, I'm not here to, to celebrate them, but indeed to um, analyze the possible hidden messages that uh, uh, are present in the Dream Theater uh, covers, um, and the connections, the, the hidden messages and the connections with uh, uh, the Illuminati theory and uh, the Flat Earth theory as well. Some days ago I, I had a sort of uh, comic uh, light bulb turning on uh, uh, above my head while I was watching the, the latest uh, of the, the latest cover of Dream Theater and, uh, and so I started looking at uh, all the covers uh, like uh, you know like, like looking for clues and uh, it seemed to me that uh, there, there are a lot it seems to me that there are a lot of clues I think uh, that they might know much more than we think I mean, we assume them as artists, but uh, they could be not only artists, um, not only that. I mean, uh, art is uh, is assumed as a, a generation, like a, a generation uh, made by by the, by fantasy and creativity. But if art and artists, or some of them at least are indeed aware of the truth and telling us in fact exactly that exactly that the truth nevertheless uh, the the filter no the the quote unquote filter of quote unquote artists gives them uh, no credibility no credibility on the I can I speak on on the level of of, of reality and maybe that's wrong maybe they know much more and in fact uh, at least a dream theater, I think, are filling their lyrics and covers of clear and clashing clues. And, um, and this is, so they, these clues are so clear sometimes, maybe, that, that uh, they, they, it's, it's so easy to find them. They are so evident, they are so in plain sight, such in plain sight, that we are not able to, to catch them. So I, 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 I think that they can know something uh, special. I think that in a way they are telling us the truth since they know it. That is far, far long ago. And, uh, but we, we were not able to, to pick the clues. And now I think that we are. In, uh, in fact, it's shocking to say, but uh, uh, until uh, I think uh, five years ago, or uh, or uh, or even less, uh, uh, the whole humanity was uh, uh, dormant. Well, I mean, I mean that uh, there was no, con no real connection in, in among uh, free thinkers. Now, now I think that uh, uh, this connection is is. Um, is growing and uh, becoming very much more firm so uh, in the circulation of ideas is uh, is easier and uh, therefore um, people is like uh, stimulating inspirating each other in a in a in a way in, in an awakening in a total awakening and uh, anyone of us, I think, uh, has a special skills uh, and uh, a special sensibility and uh, is capable to, to find a different point of view than the other and uh, also, obviously, uh, analyze different subjects. But uh, in all this mess, in all this theater that we are living in, any idea can be helpful and be the sparkle for uh, new sectors of uh, investigation. 
That's because I see humanity all over the earth as a mega brain in which any single human being is a single neuron. Uh, let's say that every neuron slash human being is, uh, is special and capable of many tasks, but I think that the completeness of thoughts and actions can be reached just linking the, the neurons and letting them to exchange information, questions and possible solutions. Till now the neurons were separated and alienated, but now the internet allowed us to reconnect to each other, so I think that the mega brain is finally starting to work. Uh, the most restless neurons are sharing their impressions and quickly building a new uh, awareness of humanity, in, uh, of, of humanity I, I think. I just hope that all neurons could uh, wake up soon. But I digress. Um, after 9-11, many single neurons slash human beings started to raise questions and investigate about the grotesque official story. And from that moment, but especially I think in the, in the last few years, any official story has been analyzed and it seems that everything could be a lie. We realized that uh, governments can lie to us, that banks are a lie, banks and money and this monetary system, uh, even the canonic Bible theology is a bit lying or lying. History, the history we've been told could be a lie, the geography, the even our own globe earth could be a lie. So astronomy and space could be a lie, science, all this could be a hoax, orchestrated and controlled by few masters of puppets behind the curtain that someone called Illuminati. So there is there are a lot of questions now and in fact very few answers. But one thing is sure, this world is a dream theater and we are waking up and reaching a new awareness. So let's see what uh, dream theater could know and uh, what uh, they uh, they could uh, tell us uh, through their uh, CD covers. Okay, the first artwork uh, that must be analyzed is uh, the same logo of Dream Theater because uh, it is uh, appearing obviously in uh, any 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 cover, and uh, and it's pretty enigmatic. Let's have a look at it. Uh, well, the band's name is Dream Theater. Now, I sincerely uh, do not see any D, any clear D, is a double T, double D, but I don't see, even if I look really, really close, I don't see any T in that logo. What I can see, in fact, is a uh, a lot of uh, um, other clues, other symbols that has nothing to do with two simple letters like D and T. I see. First of all, I, I immediately I see the Masonic symbol of the compass and uh, the the other thing that I don't know the name. And so it's it's so evident. One is with the legs spread uh, downwards, and the other one upwards. Not only this, but uh, uh, you can immediately see a pyramid in front of the, uh, in the middle of the logo. And then uh, I, I see three I, the, the, the central one bigger and uh, the other two like two columns uh, beside. And uh, well, well, I, I don't, I, maybe, maybe I, maybe I am, well, I'm crazy, but I, 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 I see immediately now. Now that I know that I, I, I'm like awake, I immediately notice that this is a this is an Illuminati symbol. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty confused because indeed I am uh, 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 talking about my favorite band and uh, imagine well, it's 
it's confusing anyway let's go on and so the the pyramid the two uh, um, V one uh, one is basically a pyramid and the other one is uh, uh, with legs upwards. Then we have three E and and everything is inside a circle. Well, uh, uh, it's not a perfect per precisely a circle, but uh, like an ellipse, and uh, um, that could 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 mean uh, well the Illuminati symbol of the eye. Or also the, the 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 same earth, and uh, here is the last connection of this already pretty complex uh, logo. That is, uh, as you can see, around. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if this is a, a cover, but uh, this is you can find uh, in uh, Dream Theater uh, artwork, or whatever. And uh, you can see this. Uh, you can see the dome. Can you see the dome? I see the dome. They, they, they are telling us this is a dream theater we know something about everything and uh, we are telling you that we know because we put you here in your fucking nose a dome a crystal dome can you see it is there there is the dome As I already told, um, I, I, I see uh, pretty clear um, uh, symbolism in, in some covers and uh, less in others. The first one, for example, is images and words and uh, in fact uh, is so complex uh, as artwork uh, that uh, um, I'd like to talk with my professor of iconography of the university because uh, for sure he would have something something to a lot to say about this cover have a look it's very complex but um what is uh, interesting to me is that the the kid uh, in in her hands i think uh, she's got uh, an um uh, an astrolab or a sextant I mean something that is uh, um, measuring the um, latitude and longitude in the ancient times this is the only well this is the, the most evident uh, thing that I can see about uh, this uh, this album but uh, uh, whatever you can uh, you can uh, you can guess or whatever clues you can uh, see in this artwork uh, please go on with uh, with investigation we are just uh, sharing our knowledge to 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 improve to to go deeper deeper and connect the points that all alone we could not connect Okay, and this is Awake, 